thing so fast. Alright guys, today's the day for the first upgrade. We're doing the big three, so kind of the big three. Uh, some of you guys will say it's not the big three because one of my three is not big enough. Whatever. So we're doing big three, exhaust, intake, and tune. So first is the exhaust. And I went with the Rossier or Rossier. Uh, I think most people say Rossier. R5 pipe. Um, so I've never had Rossier, but I've heard the R4 on several things. I've heard the R5 on several uh, Raptors and um, 400s and just uh, YFCs and they all sound good. And they're pretty cool. They come with a uh, carbon fiber tip, and I want to say that the hanger is built aluminum. Don't quote me on that. Then, of course, the full system. It's all stainless. And I think this is anti-reversion is what it's called, chamber. Uh, supposed to do something with the power curve. I'm not the Rossier aficionado. But I picked up all this stuff at PeteHager.com, guys, so please go show Pete Hager some love. All right, so first things first, let's take the stock exhaust off. Install is pretty easy. Um, my only question is right here where the pipe comes together. Is there a clamp that's supposed to go there? I do not have it. Unless I'm supposed to reuse this one on the stock exhaust, except that it's super tiny compared to the new exhaust, and it's black. I don't see them clashing they're pretty stainless with black but look how big that thing is in there kind of sits down on the oil cooler a little bit or oil tank i guess it clears it that's close though okay looks pretty good nice let's do a first start Obviously, we're not going to rip it around like this because it'll need tuned really, really bad. And we don't want to do any damage. It's definitely louder than it was. Uh, definitely sounds better than it did. Uh, I text the almighty Pete Hager to see if he has a clamp, because he has the same exhaust on his Raptor. See if he has a clamp at that spot. Um, other than that, I think I'm good. And we need to do our modification to the intake like we want. And we'll have pipe and intake. And then we need to go to Illinois Power Sports and have Jay tune it. All right, all right, we just started cruising around a little bit, and we have a big problem. We are melting our radiator hose. Oh, that's not good. 
Not good. I got to try to do something about that. Need a new hose. Actually, I think that's the liner. It's like the liner for the hose. So it might have not gotten into the hose yet. And I know those hoses are pretty thick walled. But yeah, it would have. It would have definitely been a big, big problem. Dang it. Gotta let it cool down so I can loosen things up. All right. What's up, guys? Our intake just came in. So, like I said, uh, I'm kind of doing the big three because I'm changing the intake, but I'm not really doing like typically you see like an FCI intake that is what gets put on here. And I'll probably do that in the future when I decide to put a little more horsepower to this, you know, like a bigger cam and stuff like that. But for now, just kind of throwing a pipe and a tuner on. Uh, I'll just do a little bit more to get some more flow, but nothing crazy. So here's what we got. All right, so I'm going with a K&N style filter. Um, these are so much easier to clean than the traditional foam filters. I still have some uni foam filter oil from where I used to run foam filters all the time. And I just got tired of cleaning them all the time. So I'll put this on this filter, that's fine. Any kind of oil really, not any kind of oil, but filter oil in general is pretty good to help with dust and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna replace the lid with this Procore, or sorry, Protec, Protec filtered lid. Uh, I just kinda like the design a little more and the stock lid. So this is the stock lid. And as you can see, all the air comes through this tiny little hole. So super restrictive. We're gonna pull this whole thing off and put that Protec filter, or Protec filtered, pre-filter lid, however you want to call it, right there. And it should clean things up nicely and give it a little bit more flow. All right, guys, we are here at Jay's shop here at Illinois Power Sports, ready to dyno the Raptor. We're basically tuning the Vortex. Um, and so, People have obviously bought the Vortex and put it on the Raptor before, but he had to buy the base map for the Raptor, and he's called around to all of his buddies around the country, people like D uh, TDR Performance and places like that, and nobody has the base map. So that kind of means there's no custom map for this. So I may have the first custom map Vortex on a Raptor, right, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, be the guinea pigs for this and see how it works out.
Yeah, that. Some people love that color though. So oh yeah. They want me to lean it out to do that. Yeah. You see all the blue now. On it? Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, it looks great. That's what. <laughs> so, my girlfriend was riding around for like in second gear for like five minutes at like 6 p.m. So it was a little, you know, sun was starting to go down and it was just cherry red for eight to six inches, which I had seen on like Honda 450s that were running lean. I'd never seen it. I mean, it made it all the way up to here. It was smoking. That's crazy. And just looking at that graph up there at that two to 3,000 RPM range, it dips way low. Oh, well that, that's under full throttle. Okay. But that's just a, that's way too huge of a dump of fuel. It's mm -hmm. way too lean at 2,000. It's way too rich at 2,400. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of work. We had a lot of work at house. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. But they say don't touch that tune. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect tune. <laughs> All right, guys. So Jay and I were just talking. Like this was the Vortex is bought with a base map to plug and play. Like you plug that in instead of the factory ECU and just run it. And it's so lean. It's popping. It's breaking up. Like that is a super unhealthy way to run this full wheeler. Uh, you guys probably saw the pipe was glowing like two feet glowing red. That's insane. Um, so something Jay was talking about the way reason he likes Vortex is so the Vortex is a new ECU. It's a new brain for the quad. It's not a piggyback like the, the Power Commander and some others. They're piggybacks on the factory ECU. Well, the factory ECU still has things that are holding the quad back. So they all have rev limiters. The Vortex, I think. It's rev limiter is a little higher than the power commander and the factory ECU. Um, but the factory ECU, if you piggyback it with the power commander, still has a speed limiter. So the way Jay explained it to me is when you go into fifth, the power curve will be lower than all the other gears. So basically going from like 65 to 87 miles per hour, that fifth gear will take a lot longer to get there. Where this Vortex, it's the exact same curve. So it doesn't cut power. So your speed from 65 to 85, 90, whatever it'll be, will be a lot quicker with the, the Vortex. So just to get an idea, uh, the Raptors come stock at around 45 horsepower. And at our max power, our best run, uh, warmed up perfectly was 48 horsepower, 48.12. Run before that was 48.01, 47.98. They're all pretty close around 48 when it's nice, nice and warmed up. But you see this, this is our fuel to air ratio, and this should be a flat line across that dotted line. I'm not too big on horsepower. I'm not too worried about horsepower, I should say, because what I want is this to run healthy, smooth, and crisp. When I nail on it, I don't want it to have any hesitation, just like my 450. That's why I brought it here. That's why I brought the 450 here. That's why Pete Hager brings his stuff here, because we want things to run perfect. so much better though it's not popping it's not going crazy it's it sounds healthy yes that's all i want real nice curve oh yeah Got a good picture there what's up guys we are back home we got home at 3 30 a.m this morning and uh it's now like 10 o'clock i slept in a little bit um but we're back from jay's we've got the big three on here the vortex is custom tuned every area of the rev range and it is running sweet so we rode around the parking lot a little bit last night uh it was too dark to film um so we're gonna go get a first hand feeling of what it's like to rip it on the trail so uh without further ado let's get after it all righty guys the raptor is nice and warmed up now i let it idle for a little while and then i rode it around a little bit uh I've, from what i've heard you don't want to let these idle for too long because you'll actually foul plugs like as far as warming it up so didn't get too crazy but let's listen to it okay dead stop we're not gonna ease into it just punch it nice all right first gear launch <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wet grass and stock tires. <laughs> She is running way cleaner, way snappier. Breaking the tires loose. All right. So you guys are probably not used to seeing me just run straight lines, but uh, cause I'm a woods guy. So let's go do some woods. quite up to temp and I don't have the AIS deleted off so I hear a little bit of popping which when we did the dynoing yesterday we had the AIS clamped so if I delete it it'll clear that popping up R5 sounds really good now I was worried about it when I first put it on it didn't sound that great but the tuning is what made it sound poor. Now it sounds good, it's barking. Tyrese ride there's in the woods at 60. This thing's got plenty. Which Pete told me that. Just it's a bear keeping the front end down. It hooks good and man it's bark. It barks so much. It really revs like a 450 compared to what it used to. Shake it out a little bit. Holy cow. It has been a little while since I've ridden, but I've also been babied by the 450 suspension and they're your mostly clamps, so Woo. holy cow. Nice D cell, no big pops now that it's warmed up get that AIS on it and it'll be even even better sound like it was on the dyno oh good thing I got the skid plates on need some DRW though that's where Jay thinks we'll have some power cuts so I'm trying to blip it on purpose just a little bit let's do this hill over here you hear it popping a little bit I think that that's exactly what that AIS will clean up 
because that's like I said that's the way we dynoed it was with the AIS deleted <laughs> so fast oh I love it <laughs> oh dang it <laughs> oh. it's just a different it's a completely different ride I mean the power is reliable and and smooth just like the 450 after it's been dynoed but uh, it's just a you know it sits different bar Positions different, the seating positions different. It's just more narrow. It's longer. It's a it's a different ride, but the the power delivery is identical. I mean, the Raptor's got some more bark, which it has seven more horsepower, quite a bit more torque. I don't know the numbers exactly. All right, we climbed this stock the other day. Oh, limbs. climate now that we're all tuned up holy crap this thing's so fun oh all right so we're gonna do what we did last time we're just gonna take the corner in second lugging it and then we're once we get straight we're gonna roll on it <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I couldn't roll on it because I couldn't keep the front tires on the ground. Oh. Alright. this hill. See the YFC I used to be able to climb this in third and just sail a bunch of times so let's see what we can do. It's a really fun hill to climb fast. So it's not that steep. I mean it's steep enough you can't go up it backwards because you'll just spin out the whole time but it's not so steep that you got to be super careful 
you can absolutely haul ass. Okay. significantly more sketchy but that was third Woo. yes sir yes sir <laughs> holy crap it's like a runner's high second this is really tight Should be illegal. Go to neutral. Thank you. Oh man. Oh, can't get this too sideways. It will flop. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be as far as being tippy, but you just got to use your body a lot more. The YFC, you can kind of just flick the hips a little bit. touch the ground grab a handful of throttle <laughs> they come up again let off they go back down and grab more the raptor live <laughs> oh, wheelie button it's on the right <laughs> oh it's a cheat code Raptor torque. Ah. All right, let's go get some water, change batteries, do a quick uh, logging road run back to the house. Don't flip going down this hill. I don't feel as confident going downhill, that's for sure. I think that has to do with it being so tall. Still gonna be a prima donna about the mud. It's still pretty new. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Look at the tire mark on that big boy. That'll do it every time. Tire rod looks straight. Yep, nailed it. Nailed it, chipped it. Get out of here, monkey. There's going to be a lot of big wheelies at Little Sahara. What's up guys so I'm here cleaning up the rafter after the ride you just watched um, and this is why we can't have nice things bent my wheel bent it good I told you I hit a rock pretty hard smoked it <sighs> and I still choose to buy new quads when I'm just gonna wreck them. <laughs> 